it's Heisenberg here. Today I thought I would show you guys how to install Taz Visual Overhaul since it has been absolutely blowing up on the Nexus recently. But before we jump into this video I thought I would point out that I actually had to reinstall my like everything I had to basically do a fresh install of Skyrim and for those of you who have been following my videos in the past you would know that I have been using Mod Organizer. Well, um, not really sure how it happened, but Mod Organizer actually ended up corrupting my data file, so I had to uninstall everything, and I'm using Nexus Mod Manager for now, but I will still also be showing you how to do it for Mod Organizer also, since I will probably be switching back to Mod Organizer eventually. But just to make things easier, and so I can get back into making videos for you guys, I thought I would go ahead and, um, just get a quick installation of Nexus Mod Manager ready. So, uh, so let's get started, I guess, on this Taz vis Visual Overhaul. So, before we jump into this, I thought I would point out that before you guys make the same mistake I do, that this is not compatible with Climates of Tamriel, Pure Weather, uh, RCRN, or any of that, um, or really any lighting mods. The only lighting mods that is com that it is compatible with is ELFX so RLO you're not going to be able to use because when I was using it I forgot to deactivate Climates of Tamriel so like the whole screen was like white and it was just kind of a disaster so so let's get started so it says you're going to download the latest EMB file so go ahead and right click on EMB dev and click open in open link a new tab otherwise it'll take you off this page now it uses the newest binary, so go ahead and click on the 265 binary, scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page, and click download. And I'm using WinRAR, you might be using 7-zip, but they're pretty much the same program, so you're going to need a program that extracts archives or handles archives. So once you get the binary installed, go ahead and hit backspace, and then drag and drop the archive onto your desktop and we'll come back to this in just a second so you can go ahead and close out of EMB dev you're not going to need that anymore and then next we're going to go to the files tab and then we're going to download under the main files you're either going to download the DLC version if you have all the DLCs or you're going to download the no DLCs version so I have all the DLCs so I'm going to download manually the DLC version and when it's done you're gonna get a pop-up window just like you did with the binary and just like the binary you're gonna hit backspace and you're gonna drag and drop the archive onto your desktop now you're gonna be left with these two archives right here now the way I do this step is completely optional but I would highly recommend it because I just find it a lot easier and it makes copying copying and pasting easier and it makes um transferring data files into Nexus Mod Manager much easier than just leaving it as an archive. So go ahead and click on the, the 265 binary archive and you're going to right click on it and you're going to click on extract to EMB, EMB series Skyrim 265. And then it's basically going to make a folder. So you can go ahead and delete the actual archive itself because we're only going to be dealing with the folder. So then you can go ahead and do the same thing for the the actual EMB files itself so extract to DLC version and then it's gonna make a file and then you can delete the archive now what we're gonna do is we're gonna locate your Skyrim folder now I wasn't really able to show you this when I was using um, mod organizer but now that I actually have an icon for Skyrim on my desktop I can actually show you what I mean about right clicking it so if you don't know how to find your actual Skyrim folder of where you installed it what you can do is you can click on the icon that you have on your desktop and you can right click it and you can click open file location and it'll take you right to your Skyrim folder so this is a really cool step now if you don't have an icon on your desktop most people have it installed under program files 86 steam steam apps common Skyrim and this is your Skyrim folder basically where TESV is located and Skyrim launcher is located Make sure you're not in your data folder because people do seem to get that mixed up sometimes. So make sure you're here. So then the first thing we're going to do is in the directions on the page, you're going to open up the binary folder and make sure you click wrapper version 
unless unless you're using injector version and you will know if you will have to use injector version so 99 percent of people use wrapper version so go ahead and open up the wrapper version and you're going to copy the d3d9.dll file and the embhost.exe file go ahead and right click copy and then paste it into your Skyrim folder and if you want to know how I clicked on two things at once I just held down control the whole time and I clicked and then when I'm done clicking I can release control and then right click copy paste so once you copied and pasted those files into your Skyrim folder you can go ahead and close out and you can pretty much delete the binary folder because you're not going to need it anymore now you can go ahead and open up the TAS visual overhaul folder and click this and you're going to copy and paste everything in this in this folder except the data folder so don't highlight the data folder I'm gonna get back to that in a minute so go ahead and right click copy and then paste everything in your Skyrim folder now uh, a thing I do for the data folder that I actually learned from Gopher is um, this makes things a lot easier because you don't have to paste it autom or paste it manually into your data folder it goes through your mod manager so you can basically activate it and deactivate it whenever you want it so what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on the data folder and you're gonna right click it and then you're gonna click add to archive and you're gonna get this little pop-up here and name it whatever you want obviously name it something pertaining to the EMB that you're using so I'm just gonna name it Taz visual overhaul data and then I'm gonna click OK and then it's gonna make a little archive at the end of your at the end of your list and go ahead and drag and drop that drag and drop that on your desktop and you can close out of the EMB folder matter of fact you can actually delete that and then you're gonna be left with this little archive right here now if you're using Nexus Mod Manager, open up Nexus Mod Manager and click this button right here, Add Mod from File, and then if it doesn't take you to your desktop, make sure you click the desktop key or tab and then click on the archive that you just created and then click Open and it should add it right away. Then go ahead and activate it. And then if you're using Mod Organizer, when you open up Mod Organizer, you're going to click the button in the top left that's all the way up here with the little CD on it. So that's how you that's how you're gonna do that so once you do that you can go ahead and delete the archive and the EMB itself is pretty much installed but we're gonna have to tweak some any settings first so it says add the following values in your Skyrim prefs.any so in order to locate your Skyrim prefs.any you're gonna go to wherever you have Skyrim installed to then you're gonna go to my documents my games and then Skyrim and here's your Skyrim prefs.any so I use notepad plus plus but most people are just gonna double click on it so it says B float point render target equals one so go ahead and copy it and then control F and then control V and you can just type it in now mine already equals one as you can see so I can leave it be and then same thing for B trees receive shadow, shadow so go ahead control C that copies it go back to notepad or notepad notepad plus plus control F and then control V as in Valerie mine already equals one and then draw land shadows control C control F and control V alright mine already equals one and then B shadows on grass control C control F and control V and it all equals one so all my any prefs are good to go but if you had to edit anything go up to file and make sure you click save and then you can go ahead and close out of it so the EMB is pretty much installed now um, you can also use what he highly recommends which is the mind flux particle patch so I'm gonna go ahead and install that just for the sake of this video so you're going to go ahead and download the all-in-one installation obviously and you could download the subsurface scattering patch if you want I'm not going to because I already have that installed but you would basically just click on it if you wanted it so if you're using basically the same thing you did with the archive with this you don't have to um, you don't have to extract you don't have to right click and do the archive thing you can pretty much just drag and drop it onto your desktop and then go back to the mod manager and click add from file and then uh, click this and then click open and it's pretty much gonna add it so 
Alright, here it is, and then click activate. And as you can see over here, it's all good to go. So, since um, since the data for Taz Visual Overhaul does contain a lighting ESP, you're going to have to run loot. So, go ahead and right click, open file location. Wherever you have loot lo installed, I have mine installed under my Skyrim files, so go ahead and run loot. And then we can pretty much go in game, and I'll show you what the EMB looks like. And I gotta clean out my file still. Alright, so let's run SKSE. And for some reason this my game always takes a couple minutes to start up whenever I have an EMB installed, so especially since I'm recording, so alright, here we go. So if you installed everything right, you should see this message in the top left hand corner. That pretty much indicates that you did install the um the binary file is correct and then you can press shift enter to bring up your GUI menu which you can basically do anything you want so shift enter to get out of it and I'm gonna go ahead and load up my game just to show you guys that that everything's everything's pretty much all good to go alright guys so as you can see uh, this is Taz Visual Overhaul, and it's looking really beautiful. Um, I personally love this EMB. It's pretty new, and I just love it. It's actually, a for something that's not really so performance-hungry, it's pretty great. And if you don't have a program like Fraps or anything, the way that you can get your frame rate to pop up is by pressing the star key on your number pad. And as you can see in the top left-hand corner, I have 45 frames per second. And um yeah, but you can only use this tool if you're if you have an EMB installed. So yeah guys, as you can see, this is what um Taz Visual Overhaul looks like. And if you hold down shift and press F twelve, you can go back to vanilla Skyrim and and then basically just shift F twelve to go back to Taz Visual Overhaul. So that's how you install Taz Visual Overhaul and this is what it looks like in game, so if I helped you out, go ahead and like the video, and it would be really great if you if you could uh, subscribe too. But if you didn't like the video, I guess go ahead and dislike it. It don't matter to me. But um, again, I really hope this video could help help you guys out. Um, and if there's an E and B that you guys would like to request that I haven't done yet, just go ahead and ask, and I'll be sure to to do the video for you. So again, thank you guys for all your support, and I'll see you guys in the next one.